Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm going to go a little bit over what my channel is about real quick. I don't do this every video, but I want you guys to know why I do this. So I made this channel so that you can learn from what I'm selling, what I'm doing. I did sell over $140,000 across multiple platforms last year most of it being on ebay and i share in hopes that you can increase your income as well so with that in mind this weekend was one of the best weekends we have had in a while and i am really excited to share with you because the average sales price is actually close to 50 dollars that is going out today which is amazing we sold almost 1200 dollars over on ebay and that is since friday afternoon and we also sold several hundred dollars on other platforms so let's take a look at what sold and i hope you guys learn a lot from this video let's go guys So these are in no particular order. I'm just going to go in the order they sold, which is actually kind of backwards. It's the stuff that sold most recent to the oldest. So first up is actually this really cool hand-painted Nippon creamer, and it is branded there. So if you saw this in the thrift store, all you would have to do is look up hand-painted Nippon. And to find comps, I put hand-painted Nippon palm trees. So this little creamer was not even listed for 12 hours before it sold for $26 plus the buyer paid $24 in shipping. It is going international. Don't miss out on those international sales. There is not much more to do besides turn on the option to do it. So this was in my cart lot. It's actually going to be in the next breakdown from my big auction haul. I have $5 or less into this and actually that cart is in the profit and I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit something that sold for almost $300 and one small thing paid pretty much for the whole cart. Up next is actually another item off of that cart. This is a Fenton Silver Crest. If you see the clear there, that is called a Silver Crest and this is just a cute little vase same thing this was listed less than two days and it sold for $29.99 plus the buyer paid 10 in shipping and this one was also on that cart lot so less than five dollars in i'm gonna go ahead and show you one of the items that sold on the other platforms is actually this pillow so if you see here it's got the snail it's got a starfish some sequins so this Hello, sold over on Poshmark for $17 and I'm less than a dollar in. So throw pillows definitely will sell if you can keyword them right. And this one's not even vintage, but I use that nautical theme. I use seashell. I use starfish. You want to put what is on it so that people that are looking for pillows, maybe someone wants a starfish pillow or maybe someone wants a seashell pillow. Well, both of those buyers would see that if you put both of those words in your title. And then these actually sold over on Facebook Marketplace. These are some real workwear overalls and I got those overalls for a dollar when I was thrifting. Jean work overalls typically no matter the brand will sell. Those were size 48. The larger sizes I feel like sell better and they sold for $30 on Facebook Marketplace and I could have lost that sale. You guys know I get kind of frustrated with low ball offers well, the buyer offered me 25 and I actually don't have offers on. So them emailing me or messaging me, I, a lot of times on Facebook marketplace will say, Hey, I don't have turn. I don't have offers turned on because I am not accepting offers. However, 
in this situation I've had those about a month so a little while and I said I had them at 37 he offered 25 and I said you know I can't do 25 but I would be willing to come down to 30 for you which was five dollars more than his offer and he actually said okay sounds great and that made that over a 25 dollar profit next is going to be this little Linux one and these just so you guys know are not typically super profitable there is your mark and this one I got in an auction lot I actually am about a dollar or less in and it sold for nine dollars and eighty cents plus the buyer paid 15 in shipping so this one is going international as well so again don't miss out on those international sales there's really not that much more to it this is going to be about a seven dollar profit because <laughs> you see that 24 karat gold that this is going to be worth a lot because that definitely is not the case up next is the Kachina doll. So I was getting a little worried because none of these had sold and I did put quite a bit of money. I think I have another box in the back of the shed full of Kachina dolls I need to unpack. This little guy here, if you see, is left hand dancer and a lot of times with these kachina dolls if you do google lens you can find the name there are not a ton of kachina doll names they're just variations made by different artists so i did pay about ten dollars for this little guy and it took about a month and a half and he sold for 83 dollars and 24 cents making him over a 60 dollar profit up next is this abaco bahamas this is a adjustable back. You can see this one I do not think has been worn. It looks pretty new. If it was worn, it was maybe worn once. I got this for $2 in an online auction lot. I have had it for a long time. I think close to a year. It sold for 18 free shipping and we will still make about a $10 profit on that. Next is another item off of that cart. That $320, $330 cart lot thus far has turned out to be my best lot from that $3,600 auction haul. So I am going to go over some more boxes. I still have three boxes in the back to list. I have two boxes on the counter here to record for you actually after I'm done doing this. But this really cool pink pitcher and this actually is not branded so it's got the ruffle I put pink splatter I did put the height and this one sold for $65.99 plus the buyer paid $14 in shipping again on that cart lot I'm about $5 in per item so this is over a $50 profit and it did sell in less than two weeks big key there is this stuff is selling i just have to get it listed so i actually listed over a thousand dollars yesterday on my first sunday being off being full-time and reselling so i'm very happy with that it is still a mess here in the shed so i am actually making this video early in the morning instead of the afternoon in hopes that i will be able to get some stuff cleaned and organized in here Next, we have another item off of that cart lot. That cart was so good, guys. This is a little fish, and I will show you. This one is BBK. That is probably upside down. There you go. So BBK, once I did some research, is actually Brad Keeler, a California pottery company. So I had this fish and it does have the original little spoon and this is a sauce dish so this one sold in less than a week um <laughs> sold for 77 dollars and 99 cents this again was on the cart lot five dollar cost and it sold for almost $80. So this is over a $65 profit and it sold in less than a week. So if I had been scared to pay $330 for that cart lot, I would have missed out on a ton of profit. The highest profit thing you still have not seen, but it is coming up. And 
sometimes you do have to spend money to make money I did not know about all of these things that were on that cart that were worth so much money however I saw enough to know that I would definitely at least make my money back and I knew that the other items in that auction were high-end so typically when I see high-end items on auction and they put box lots up my thought my thought is hey whoever this person was that this is their estate they had expensive taste so chances are in these box lots or cart lots there's going to be expensive stuff and that chance definitely paid off with this cart up next is this kind of cool and i got this in a, a box lot i only paid a couple bucks for this and this is like a scroll platter i think it's pretty cool and this says paris cafe and it is 13 inches by 9 inches and i paid probably less than a dollar in a cart lot this one sold for $26.24 plus the buyer paid $23 this is going to be heavy and it very possibly could go to an oversized box making that about a 22 to 23 dollar profit up next is a recent thrift store find you haven't seen this video yet but you will here in the next day or two so this is a wedding vase i actually paid three dollars for this i believe you will see it coming up here this one sold for twenty dollars plus shipping buyer paid 17 in shipping because i think it's going to be a three pound rate and that makes this about a 15 dollar profit for me and it sold in less than two days i was hoping it would sell for more but i'm still okay with that fast profit up next is this planet hollywood aspen pin this was on hats that i bought from an auction lot so i really have nothing in it sold for 787 plus shipping i actually have one more of these left i just pulled the pens off because if you buy hats with a lot of pens you can make a lot more money selling those pens individually and this is going to be about a six dollar profit and i will pop it into this jewelry box and then i will put it into a padded envelope up next is this a gators golf club head cover i paid a dollar for this at a flea market down south and it's over 10.92 Plus the buyer paid six in shipping, making this about an $8 profit in about three months. Up next, this one is not super impressive and that's because it's plain and I've had it a while so I accepted a lower offer. This is Worldwide Sportsman. It is a vintage fishing shirt and this one sold for $6 plus shipping. The buyer paid $7.70 shipping. I actually only paid a dollar, so I am still making a $4 profit on that. I was hoping to get more around the $15 mark, but that's okay. Up next, these are all going out to Sandy, who is a viewer. So Sandy, thank you so much for your purchases. She got three DVDs for me and a shirt. DVDs were, I think, about $5 each, making them about $4 each profit. And then she got this awesome shirt I will show you as well. So she got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Chasing Liberty, Caddyshack, and then she also got this really cool shirt. So this shirt is from Lily by Fermi Anna. And it's this really cool Christmas tree shirt. And I believe it is new without tags. So again, Sandy, thank you so much for your purchase and support. I really do appreciate it. Up next is some ephemera. So this is Garden of the Gods. This is actually not even a trifold. It's just a single little paper. And this one sold for $5 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. And I paid less than a dollar. It'll be about a $4 profit. And then we sold a playbill. So this playbill is cats. I did buy a big lot of these in an auction, which is how I get a lot of stuff. So I'm less than 50 cents and it sold for $7 plus shipping. It did take about three months to sell, making it about a $5 and 50 cent profit. Up next is this vintage Rolf's. This is a little like key caddy super cute super mid-century modern avocado green there it is brand new in the box 
just to hold your keys. This one I paid, I think, 10 cents at a garage sale. And it sold for $14.69, making it about a $13 profit. And this will be really easy to ship and put in a padded envelope as well. Up and next is this red heart glass paperweight. I am about $5 into this. This actually did not come from, from my paperweight lot. This came in one of the art glass lots. This one sold for $20 plus $9.90 shipping. This paperweight is heavy. It's going to be over a pound. That is why the shipping costs so much. This is going to be about a $14 profit. Up next, this is Andrea by Sadek. Andrea by Sadek is a really hit or miss. I will tell you guys some of it sells good. Some is worthless. So there is the sticker there. And I paid $3 for this one at a local thrift store. Really nice. There are no chips. The colors are really pretty on this. And this one sold for the $23.42, making about $18 profit. Up next is this little Tommy Hilfiger little bitty purse and I had this for two years. Two years paid less than 50 cents and was in the profit really fast so if the other stuff sits here a while I don't really care but I got a six dollar offer and said hey I've had it two years I'm gonna let it go. I only paid 50 cents about a four dollar profit on that purse. And then the sale is absolutely amazing and I still have nine more of these. These came from the $320 cart lot from the online auction. They were actually in an old shadow box frame. Actually, let me go get it. So this old frame, kind of raggedy looking, right? This old frame was on this cart lot and they said it was peacock jewelry. However, after doing some research, this pen is actually from china from the king dynasty that's q i n g these are kingfisher feathers that are on there you can see this is missing some stones there is one still on there this is three and a half inches there's your back this one sold for 291 dollars plus the buyer paid 13 dollars international shipping it is going to Canada I have nine more of these five dollars in to 300 this is over a 250 dollar profit right here research guys research and all of these gems are missing except for one and it's still sold for 300 dollars you will see in my next breakdown of that auction haul what the other nine look like and they are all listed in my ebay store which is linked below if you would like to check out my other item and then this was from the brooch lot this one is unmarked really pretty kind of big flower there and this one sold for 26 dollars plus shipping i actually had to message them and say hey are you gonna buy this you or are you gonna pay or are you gonna pay and they messaged me back said oh my gosh i forgot about this i'll pay right now and they didn't sometimes people do forget so let's go over what sold on the other platforms because there are some good sales there as well to be these merrill hiking shoes these merrill is a great brand to know and be on the lookout for there it is there the main thing i remember is these vibram soles these look like they might have been worn ones. And I actually got these for a dollar in an online estate auction lot with like 10 pairs of shoes. I paid like six bucks. So the funny thing is I had dropped the price on those to $18 over on eBay. They're a small size. They're six and a half. And they sold for $25 over on Poshmark, making them almost a $20 profit up next it, these sold over on facebook this was off of the cart lot as well so these are super cool little foo dogs and there were some other ones listed and i was able to comp them out i listed the pair of these guys for 55 dollars plus shipping and the crazy thing about these is 
I had a buyer wanting to buy them who was not familiar with online payment, which happens from time to time. So I actually walked her through it. I sent her a direct PayPal request and she hadn't paid. And um, I'm not gonna really share her story. But she had a lot going on and I told her, she said she would pay for them this morning. And I said, just please message me and make sure they are still available. I don't hold anything. So for one of you guys, I might consider that. However, I don't know her and I know people have stuff going on in their life, but this is my business. This is how I pay my bills. I am now full time reselling and I couldn't put those on hold for her because I have no way of knowing if she's going to actually pay. So I do have a policy that I do not do any holds at all and first she wanted to mail me payment and i definitely will not hold for somebody mailing it because that could take up to a week to get to me and i could have sold them you know five days before so right after she told me she was going to pay in the morning i actually got a notification and they sold i did let her know she was pretty upset but it you know it is business you know i am not friends with everybody that is buying stuff for me and I don't know them so I can't trust that they are going to keep their word and pay and so it is a first come first serve those sold for 55 I am five dollars in in that cart lot making them about a 45 dollar profit and then we sold this New England map I got this from a YouTube BFF flipping fiasco if you haven't checked out our channel definitely do that i paid less than 50 cents for this to dale sold for seven dollars over on mercari then i've had these for over a year i was in the profit fast these are just some art prints these are by Susanna span and you can look up the artist name i sold several other of these i got all of them for ten dollars but these two sold for six each over on facebook marketplace so about a ten dollar profit on those two and then this little visor i'm less than 50 cents in. it is brand new never worn sold for six dollars over on facebook next this is cobalt blue cake sand this finally sold over on Facebook for $24. I am only a couple dollars in. This was in a garage sale buyout. People kept lowballing me, and by that, not real lowball, but like $15, $16. And I'm like, no, I know I can get at least $26 or at least $20 plus, And it sold for $23 plus shipping. And then this sold over on Mercari. It is a single placemat kind of a gold there with the scrolls and it sold for seven dollars i'm less than 10 cents in so that is going to wrap it up great monday over a thousand dollars in profit going out today i am very happy with the sales this weekend if you guys enjoyed this i hope you learned something we will be live tomorrow night with junk to be loved and yvonne thrifty rich both of those ladies are extremely knowledgeable as well as my co-host julian bearded thrift so i look forward to seeing you guys definitely hit that thumbs up if you are not subscribed to the channel please do so if you like videos like this and I will see you guys tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, guys. Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oh, gosh. Happy birthday to you. Okay, blow them. Blow. 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 Blow.